Hey guys, what's up? So today we are doing a Minecraft tutorial, and today we are building the 4501. Here's the locomotive, and this is the second time I've tried filming this. Ooh. So, this is part one because it took too long to record. It would have taken 20 minutes to record the entire thing. This is, this is for the locomotive itself. So you're going to start by placing three stone brick stairs and then some stone brick slabs. Okay. And then... Oh, yeah, this is the green version. And before you guys say... I'm going to keep building, but... Before you guys say anything, I know some of you guys are going to mention, Oh, the Challengers built the 4501 as well. His was in the black version, and it was complete coincidence because I didn't know he built his until I looked it up. So, sorry about that. But this is the green version. It's a little different. Mine's got a little bit extra detail that I don't think his has. But these... Okay, so, yeah. Just so you guys know. Sorry about that. So you're going to put four uh, blocks like this, and that represents the driving wheels. Get rid of that, and I broke the track. Okay. And then, since the Mikado, you got to put two wheels back here. And then like that. And then, just so we can get out of the way, let's do the floor of the cab. It's really simple. Do stuff like this. <laughs> so you're just gonna do stuff like this, and then like that, and like that. Okay, so now we're going to start on the boiler. And uh, you're going to build stuff like this. And you're going to build the boiler like this. Make sure it's green. Green wall, so it looks the best. You could use lime, I don't know. So, um, the reason why I'm building this is just, if you look it up, there's a really, really good documentary on the story of the 4501. I recommend go watching it, and I can't, unfortunately, I can't get a link to it because I can't find it. Uh, it's still there, I just, I just can't get a link to it. But. But, um, yeah, go watch that documentary if you can find it. It's called, And Then There Was One. It's a really, really good documentary on the 4501. Let me just turn it to daytime really quick. So you guys are going to have to pay attention because you guys, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to, I need to focus on building it. So you guys are going to have to try and pay attention as best as you can. Sorry guys, I'm back. So, so you do this to the cab, and um, you want to go back, and then you're gonna put that right there for the cab. We'll finish, we'll finish that off in part two. I know some of you're gonna complain that it's not done. Alright, but, um, gonna put some quartz here for the, the wheat, for the rods, the driving rods, there we go. Alright. 
Alright. You gonna put these here, I guess, for breaks. It's for extra detail. And I know I'm gonna forget, but later we're gonna put in a firebox to the, to the locomotive itself. But first we gotta do the light, so the headlight. Okay, and as you can see, here we're going to start doing the sides of the locomotive, the walkways. And um, you can put that stuff there for extra detail. And then, yeah, here, here's the Firefox, and you can really see the break come out. And you'll put that down. I put that down for extra detail, and you guys are going to complain about the cab. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. It's in the tutorial. And I know I put that block there, so I'm fine. Okay, and as you can see, because I'm looking at the, <laughs> the two of these that I built. I don't know. How, what is it? What am I doing? Okay. I guess that's the valve gear. Okay, and then you're gonna put that stuff down. You only really don't need the cobblestone roll anymore, so if you want to, you can get rid of it. I think. I don't remember. So you're going to get the soul, and that looks like a mark of light. So if you want, you can use redstone torches, but I'm not going to put them there. Okay, and for the light, you're going to just need all this stuff that I'm showing you right now. Put that there. Then you want to get wooden oak signs and put 4501 on all three of them that you can see. And just put 4501 on all of these on the front. <laughs> okay. And that's the bell right there. I know they have a real bell, but it doesn't work and it doesn't look the best. And use black wool for the funnel. Okay, so I'm gonna be kind of quiet so we can focus on building. See, but before I go, start shutting up. Uh, put this stuff down here. Not like that. Just put it down the way that I'm doing it, and then go up. And and uh, put some wiring down. Put some wiring down for um, handrails. Alright, 
And for the cab, we're gonna do this. Now, if you see me build any of my steam locomotives, you're probably gonna see me do this. I just really like doing this design because it looks good. Put these down for seats, and then we'll do stuff to the cab later. We'll deck it out soon. Put stuff around there. So, that can be a bell. And then put a put a furnace or a blast furnace there. I say use a furnace because it looks better. And then you want to do some valves, so you got use a lever and a tripwire hook. Then use an oak fence for the whistle. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I'm lagging a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, I think we have to, yeah. So get some more tripwire hook. <laughs> like that. Then get some wool floor. And put that on the roof to make it that, give it the red touch. And, um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll put a lantern. And yeah, that's pretty much it for part one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all later. Bye.